Hello everyone, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today for this DIY. For today's project, we're using three of these tall frames from the Dollar Tree, two garden plant stands, some large popsicle sticks, two sets of salt shakers, and some jute twine. The first thing you'll want to do is remove the plastic from these three frames, and then we're also going to remove everything, the glass, the backing, and the paper in between. You're also going to want to remove the little metal tabs that are meant to hold the backing in place. We will not need these for this project. I hope you guys are all having a great day or a great night. While we're here, let me just suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber and make sure you hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Once all three frames are ready, I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and go around each of these frames. I'm not too concerned about it looking perfect because I do want that rustic farmhouse look. I do want to make sure I get paint on the inside of the frame because these will be standing up and you will be able to see the insides. Next I'm going to take my E6000 and my hot glue and glue these three frames together to look like a tall three paned window frame. The frames are plastic, so it won't take very much glue. The hot glue is to hold it right away, and the E6000 will give it a permanent bond, so it will not fall apart. Next, I'm taking these jumbo craft sticks, and I'm going to put two of them where two frames come together. This is just for added support and also to help support the metal bracket that will be the stand for this DIY. These metal hanging plant brackets can be found with all of the spring supplies that are out right now at Dollar Tree. They are metal, so I am using E6000 and hot glue again to hold these in place. These will be the support for our decor piece so that it can stand up freely on a table or counter. You do want to let this sit and dry for a full 24 hours before moving on. So DIYs are all about making modifications as you go along. I did not like the little gap that you could see between the spaces where two frames came together. So I decided to take some of my nautical rope from Dollar Tree and do a frame around that center picture frame.
So for my hanging bud bases, I actually got two packages of the glass salt and pepper shakers from Dollar Tree. We will only be using three of the four shakers and I'm going to be hanging one of these in the center of each picture frame. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting three lengths of jute twine and you can see I'm looping it over the top of the frame and then I'm hot gluing it to either side of the shaker jar. Once the string that was hanging each vase was dry, next I'm taking some of the thinner jute twine from Dollar Tree and wrapping it around the top of each vase. This will also help hold the hanging twine in place. I hope that made sense. And here's what it looks like when you've done that to all three of your hanging bud vases. You'll notice that the vases are hanging with the jute twine in the front and the back. So what I'm going to do here is put a little dot of hot glue attaching the jute twine to itself so that the jar turns. I think you'll see what I mean in a minute. I wanted the string on the sides of the vase instead of in the front and back. I did also tie a jute string knot at the top of each one just to give it a little extra hold. And now we're ready to add whatever flowers you'd like to your bud vases. I'm using a combination of this lilac from the Dollar Tree, those droopy amaranthus, I think they were called, and then this greenery eucalyptus from Walmart. I think in season this would look totally cute with live flowers as well if you have a garden or have a place you can easily get real flowers. You could put a little water in the bottom of each of these vases, no problem. So as I'm finishing up arranging my flowers, I just want to thank you again for watching this video and subscribing to my channel. I put out two to three decor DIY videos per week and I'm growing my channel. So I would appreciate your likes, your comments, and sharing this video with friends you might have that are interested.
Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and maybe getting some inspiration of new ways you can use items you find at the Dollar Tree. Here's some other videos that you might be interested in seeing next. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.